Hi there. Thanks for joining me for today's video. I am going to do a step by step and walk you through creating clip art in Artistly and then taking that image and pulling it into Canva and exactly what I would be doing. So anyway, let's get started so this won't be such a long video. So I'm just gonna take one of my really super cute bandana bears, and if you're not making your own clip art, and you just wanna buy my bandana bears, you can find them at Trotter's Lane's, Trotter's Lane Treasures on Etsy. And um, they are commercial use, but I'm just gonna take this one and I'm gonna go in and just show you um, that we're going to modify this design. I'm going to go down to watercolor and redesign. For, you, for, for those of you that are familiar, um, this already has my prompt in here. I'm not going to really change anything. I am going to remove the little dots. It makes it do it better. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just, I'm only going to create one because I'm mainly just wanting to concentrate on the process you'll use. So it's going to be a random design. I'm going to click redesign here. I just want you to kind of see the whole thing. Now, if I were just starting over with a prompt, then I would probably um, take the AI image designer over here and I'd be typing in that prompt. Okay, so here we have this cute little image. I'm going to go here first. I'm going to make it private because I do that with all my clip art so that it doesn't go into the community feed. And I am going to. Okay, so I'm going to download it to my computer. I'm going to go over to Canva. Here's my Canva. I am going to. I'm going to assume that you don't already have a brand template set up. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to go into the create a design and then go down to custom size. And then I'm going to type 2500 by 2500. I use this design because I did testing and I have other videos on it, but this is the easiest way for us to get um, 300 DPI out of Canva without going through a whole lot of upscaling and different things like that. So I'm going to show you. Okay, so now we're into this 2500 by 2500. It says it right here. And we're going to name this um, brand template clip art 2500 by 2500. Okay, I already actually have my own, and in mine, I actually set this up, and I'll show it to you before I leave the video, but I actually set this first page up as my cover image for my Etsy listing. So this is the one that I do all the art on that will show uh, what people are getting that I'll show on Etsy. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead, and I'm going to show you how to set this up as a brand, te brand template. So I'm going to go to share. And instead of doing the download, we're going to go to this that says brand template and we're going to click it. Now it's not done yet. We want to save it into our, the, your projects tab, but you could, you know, you could choose a different place, but we're just going to add it to the um, folder. Um, okay, so we can, we'll create a new one. So this is going to be um, Etsy template. Let's just do that. Etsy templates. Okay. And then that's going to be add to the new folder. So we're going to add to the new folder. Etsy templates. But we could choose here and choose something else. Okay. Um, so we're going to do add. Okay. And then now we're going to do publish. Okay. So this design has been published as a brand template. Okay. I could share it, but I don't want to. Now I'm going to go back over to my home feed and I'm going to show you what that did by, I'm just going to refresh that page and that brand template should now be here. So see from now on, once you set that brand template up and see, this is one of my brand templates. So that one's for my video. I have a brand template for, um, let's see where my brand template for my actual package is. Let's see. 
this is the one that I use right here. And you can see that I have it set up for my, this is the one I would be using. But for now, we're going to, to use the one we set up for you guys to use. So we're going to go in here, use this template, and now we already have our size. The next time we do clip art, we can already have it all set up like I do, where you have the cover image is right here. And then we would just be adding a page there. But for now, we're just going to do it this way, okay? So what we're going to do now is go to Uploads. I'm going to upload that image that I just did in Artistly. Okay, the little cute little bear with the basket. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag him over here like this. I need to remove his background, so I'm going to go into Edit Photo and Remove Background. Okay, so now I'm going to go over. We have completed that process. I'm going to share. Now, normally I would have multiples in this same file. Each page would, page would be a different one of my clip art pieces. And so then I would save and I would, um, I would download them all at one time into like a zip file. But, okay, so in order to do this, now this is the this is how, how you get your 300 DPI. Okay, and you still get it small enough that people can upload it back into Canva. So I'm going to show you. So we're going to go to download. We're going to drag this all the way over. Now you're going to see that this is going to give us a 7813 by 78 by 13 pixel image. We're going to click transparent background, and you have to do compress file here don't worry about the lower quality okay there's two pages i only want to do the first one just because i don't have anything on the second page so i'm going to click there and done now i'm going to download that image okay now to show you how that worked and that we have the 78 14 by 78 14 and it is a 300 dpi image i am going to open up just to show you i'm going to open up my Photoshop that's downloading right now but I'm gonna start open up Photoshop and when that gets through downloading I'm going to pull it into Photoshop and go into the image and t and it will show us exactly the size of the image and what the DPI is so I'm gonna go to open in Photoshop and I didn't buy Photoshop to work with the clip art. I already had it because I was using it with a different program. Now, this is the image here um, that we, sorry about my puppy. We're going to wait until it gets finished. Okay, so here's our new one. This is the one we just did. I had to wait for it to we're uploading it you see it's already got the background no thank you um, it already has the background removed because we removed it in canva and now i'm going to go to image and image size and you're going to see that see it is 780 78 13 not 14 sorry about that by 78 13 and it is 300 uh dpi so we accomplished what we wanted to. So if you're doing single images in Artistly, that is the easy peasy way to get 300 DPI without doing any upscaling or anything like that. It took me a long time to figure out the exact dimensions that I had to do in order to make the files small enough, the file size small enough and still get that 300 DPI. So, um, that's how you do it. And, um, I hope that, that will help you. Let's go back into the to Canva. And um, I hope that's really going to help you save some time and will make the process a whole lot easier for you. But let me recap and tell you exactly how I normally would do. I'm going to go back into Home Canva. Um, and then I'm going to go over here to my, my brand template that I normally use. I'm going to go into here. And then see, this is how I have this set up. So I already have whatever template uh, that I'm going to use for whatever um, clip art. And then I take my images and then I'll make this 
and so then when I download it, everything's all together. Um, that um, gets into a little bit of complication because of all the different um, components to a listing. The video, your cover image, your, um, your actual PDF that's going to have the link to your clip art, um, where it's stored and in your shared folder. So all of those are components, and I don't have time to go into those today in this particular video, Thank but I so do have some that videos that cover that. This so video, just and I uh, check out it, the and channel. It will be a help in your business. Um, I use Artistly AI to create all of my artwork. If you're curious about it, I do have a link um, with my affiliate link down in the description box. Check it out. They have a, a money back guarantee for, I don't know exactly how many days. At one point it was 30 days. So you can check it out. And if you don't like it, it doesn't work for you. You can always ask for a refund. Um, I do have a special group on Facebook that I'd love to welcome you into if you use my affiliate link and want to learn more about how to use Artistly in your business. And um, I just want to thank you for watching my video. If you would, like and subscribe and leave me a comment. And I hope you have a great day. See you next time.